Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Guys, before I begin, please make sure to watch the whole video because I'm going to be given information that brings it all together at the very end. Otherwise, you'll get things taken out of context and you won't completely understand. So, first, what are the experts really saying about something called Brown's Gas or HHO? Well, for a lot of people who don't know what that is, let me clarify that first. Brown's Gas is the mixture of oxygen and hydrogen together. That's what Brown's Gas is. Is it the same as just hydrogen? Of course not. It's the mixture of two of these gases. And they both have their individual benefits and the way they should technically be used. Here's the thing, guys. If you have both of them mixed together, the, the confusion comes in when there's a lot of companies who advertise their products as being hydrogen machines. But the truth is, they're both the gases together. And here's where fundamentally the issue lies. What do the experts have to say? What does the science have to say about Brown's gas? Well, it literally has to say, Nothing, because there is no science about it, guys. Let me really explain what the, what the specialists or the people who are the experts in this field really have to say. So, for example, there was somebody who spoke recently from the Molecular Hydrogen Institute. He gave a really great talk on how hydrogen appears to affect viruses, because, you know, this whole coronavirus is a really big thing right now. And ultimately, they were talking about the benefits of the hydrogen and what hydrogen can do, for example, the virus or the lungs and whatnot. It was a great talk. You'll never hear him say brown's gas or hho because it's a fringe science so the experts are not really talking about that and a lot of these companies want to hijack information that is like oh look what hydrogen does and then we have this device and it's not exactly pure hydrogen now a lot of my viewers have also contacted me saying well china's using the brown's gas you know and it's really helping patients a lot guys it's this is really important in China, the reason that they're using oxygen is because the patients couldn't breathe, all right? They weren't getting the proper saturation of oxygen within their blood. So they were using oxygen because it was needed for that particular moment. And they were giving hydrogen because that also gives specific benefits. These two are separate things. When you mix them together, does something magical happen that, you know, science can explain? No, guys, there is no magical thing that happens when you use them both together. They both have their individual, I guess, pluses and uses depending on what it is you have going on. And so mixing them together may be good for a certain moment in time because oxygen is like good for like emergencies or if people can't breathe very well and things of that nature. But is it something you want to use regularly? Well, not really. I mean, obviously, look, this doesn't say that this is the Institute of Brown's Gas or HHO. In fact, even here, International Conference of Hydrogen Medicine, guys, it's not the International Conference of Brown's Gas Medicine. There, again, there's, there's so much confusion about this and I'm really trying to help clarify this for people because they keep messaging me about it. The only thing I really find on Brown's gas is you know there's a lot of fraud out there there's a lot of scans in regards to brown's gas uh you know con artists whatever because the, the information that you're getting is really really bad and there's no science behind it let me try to give an example that hopefully people can un can understand this a little more clearly i think testosterone is a good example do we need testosterone sure now we need testosterone but do we need to supplement it i've actually seen some research where if you supplement some of it you can actually get some benefits but you don't want to use it over a long period of time because well right here long-term usage basically of the testosterone therapy appears to basically put you at higher risk for cardiovascular problems you know things like heart attacks strokes death from heart disease stuff like that you don't want to be using it for the long term it's all about how you use some of these medicines well here's where the problem fundamentally comes in because if you have a brown's gas device I've seen where hydrogen can appear to be used quite regularly, but not oxygen. So if you have them both mixed together, you're pretty much having to use oxygen regularly in order to get the benefits from hydrogen. And that is where I technically see the problem. Because right here, oxygen toxicity caused by excessive or inappropriate supplemental oxygen can cause severe damage to the lungs and other organs, guys. Not just high concentrations of oxygen, but over a long period of time can cause free radical formation, leading to damaged membranes, proteins, and cell structures in the lungs. Here again is the problem of using something like oxygen regularly. Can you get a boost from using oxygen? Of course you can, guys. You can get a little boost. They use it in emergency medicine. It's a really, really good idea sometimes, especially when people can't breathe. The thing you have to understand is that hydrogen is a specific type of medicine that can provide certain benefits. Oxygen's a different one. Will you have to use them together sometimes? Yes, you might have to use them together sometimes. Do you wanna use them all both at the regularly at the same time, all the time? 
In my opinion, definitely not. The science is not showing that. That's not what the experts are saying. There's no science out there. And I hope this clarifies things because there's a lot of people out there who may potentially cause harm to themselves. And that's why I'm making my videos because the whole premise of my channel here is to help people improve their health. And so a lot of times people end up inadvertently hurting themselves when they're trying to improve their health because they don't really understand the science. So I hope this clarifies it for you guys. I hope this answers all those emails that people have been sending me. Don't forget to support the channel by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next one.